I think probably the most prevalent reason why people join masterminds are these peer groups, for lack of better ways of saying it, these CEO peer groups, et cetera. It's an insurance policy. In every area of your life, life insurance, car insurance, home insurance, property insurance, whatever it is, we buy these policies to kind of protect our downside. But when it comes to our actual business, the really smart people think about it as an insurance policy. The really dumb people think about it as an expense. If you want an insurance policy in business and in life, then you get around people who have all that wisdom, all that experience, that they can share with you and shorten your learning curve, protect your downside, help you navigate very complex situations, or quite frankly, take a very complex situation and make it really simple, but you're so close to it, you can't see it. This is how great people achieve amazing things. Look at any CEO, and I guarantee you, they have a group of really, really qualified people that either inside their organization or outside their organization that they are constantly interacting with to try to navigate whatever it is they're going through. The fact of the matter is is that a lot of business owners they struggle and then rather than reach out to people that can actually help them they kind of insulate themselves and whether that's out of pride or lack of humility or ego whatever it is I don't know but I can tell you it is probably one of the most foolish things you can do I would even argue irresponsible there is a wealth of knowledge out there and if you can make an investment to get in the room with people who can shorten your learning curve or help you navigate that and be your insurance policy why in the hell would you not do that